What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a free tool that you can use to automatically set up your rigging systems for use in 3D modeling software, including Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this tool, which is free to download and use, comes from uh, Reillusion. So the guys that brought us iClone and Character Creator. And AccuRig is a free tool from Reillusion that's basically designed to help you quickly do rigging of characters. So it's basically a tool designed to do automatic and quick rigging of characters. So basically what you can do is you can download this, you download the file and install it on your computer. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna run you through a process right here. Um, and it's gonna automatically pick up on um, different locations in the model. And it's going to set up a skeleton system for that model automatically. And so it's super powerful. And so let's go ahead and let's give it a look. So I've downloaded AccuRig right here, and we're just gonna use a simple character from ArtStation. So I can link to this in the notes down below, but it basically has a character model in here that we're gonna use. And basically what you do is you find that mesh, you download it, and you just drag it in. So in this case, so in this case, I'm gonna use the male character that comes with this, it's just an FBX file, and I'm just gonna drag it right here. And so what it's gonna do is it's gonna import the model so that you can look at it and you can start setting up your rigging. And so the first thing that you wanna do when you set up your rigging is you wanna set the center line to as close as possible to the center of your character. So notice how you can drag this left or right like this. There are some things you can do with like rotating your character, um, but in this case, we're not gonna worry about it too much. In this case, we just want this front on view and we just want this centered like this. And so once you're done with that, what you can do is you can click on the button to rig body. And so what it's gonna do is it's gonna go through here and it's gonna find the different joints and pieces that are contained inside of this model. So it's gonna automatically find some of those and then present them to you so that you can move around them and make them a little bit more accurate. All right, and so once you get through this, if you take a look at it, notice what it does is it tells you, or it gives you all of these different points, right? And it tries to automatically place these points, but basically what these points do is these tell um, AccuRig where to place um, the different bones. Notice how when you mouse over these, what's really cool is it gives you this image right here to tell you where exactly these should be, right? So it says, okay, um, you need to place this one at the shoulder joint. So we're going to try to place this like right here. So it'll try to do it automatically. And then you can come in here and just kind of adjust that. Um, so notice how here it says to place at the clavicle joint. This one, it says to place on the neck tip, or in this case, it looks like it's about the mouth. So um, it places these pretty accurately. And then you can come in here and you can adjust them even more um, just to kind of get them where they need to go. And so you're basically placing these to help it set up the bones that are in here. And so one cool thing about this is not only is it going to do that, but you can also come in here and you can rig the hands. So what it's going to do is it's going to go in there and it's going to ask you to align your finger joints and orient the thumb direction. So it's basically going to help you rig up your hand, which I'm pretty sure is something you can't do with Mixamo right now. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I believe that's the case. All right, so next we need to go through and we need to place these other joints. You just need to place them in the proper location on the hands, right? So you can just kind of move these around and um, it's telling you that the joints need to be parallel. So you can kind of move these to the proper locations right here. So really easy to do, um, not really difficult at all. Um, you just need to make sure that you're lining them up to the right locations. You know, and then the other thing that it tells you to do is that um, it also tells you to set this arrow up so that it's perpendicular to the thumbnail right here, which honestly, it's pretty close. So all you would do is maybe rotate it just a little bit using this item right here, but it's really close to begin with. So the way that this automatically sets everything up is actually pretty amazing. Um, you can just come in here and make a few different adjustments. Just make sure that you kind of rotate around, make sure that you're not dropping these in the wrong spot. So I had a few of these in a spot where maybe I didn't necessarily want them. So just make sure that you single click with your left mouse button and you adjust these. And then once you're done, you can go through and rig the other hand. And then once you've done that, you can click on the button for finalize character and it's gonna go through and it's gonna set up your rig and allow you to preview it so you can see what it's going to look like animated. All right, so now once this is done, if you click on play down here, notice how this is going to apply or allow you to preview different animations. So literally this whole thing is rigged up and ready to go inside of any of Real Illusions products. 
just really quickly. So for example, if I click in here and notice how there's different body animations and other things like that, but those have been set up like really, really well. Um, just looking at this right here. Another cool thing about this is there's a button in here to upload this to Actor Core. And so a couple of cool things about this. First off, you can upload this to Actor Core, which is basically Real Illusions Cloud and also their kind of store where you can buy different motions and other things like that. But if you look at this, you can take their free animations or other animations that are available in here and you can actually apply them to your avatar. So um, for example, if we go into the motion section under free, notice how there's a number of these different motions in here that you can click. These are actually being applied to the character that I just um, that I just rigged. So getting these animations applied to your character um, through Actor Core is really easy. Um, the other cool thing about this is you can also take this character and you can export it to um, different formats. So if I click on export, right, I have options in here to export to like the Omniverse, um, or you can export an FBX. And there's a number of different target applications that you can use in here, including Blender. So you can set this up where you can export this to Blender and open it up inside of your Blender file. So we'll just call this mail for Blender right here. We're going to export it and then we're just going to import it. So we're going to go find that FBX. We're going to bring it in like this. Notice how it's going to bring in that character file and we'll move Bonnie out of the way. But it's going to bring in that character file with the skeleton right here. So if we select the armature, then jump into pose mode. And so if we select that armature and go into pose mode, notice how you can move the bones around in order to animate your character right here. And you can kind of, you can toggle that mesh off. So I'm just going to toggle the body off right here, just so you can see the bones that are brought in like this. All right. So one other cool thing about this is if you have auto rig pro, and then you have auto rig pros quick rig specifically what this is going to do is this is going to allow us to actually like set up our rigging so um, what we can do is we can click on the import and we can click on character creator plus right here that's going to basically automatically set up the different uh, limbs and other things like that but then you can go into the quick rig option right here check the box for preserve volume and click on ok and so that's going to set up your rig properly in here so that you can do your animations inside of Blender. But Auto Rig Pro is a great complement to this and that quick rig can be a huge time saver for setting up those rigs to do animation inside of Blender. All right, so you guys know I'm not necessarily a characters guy, but using tools like this really make the whole thing feel accessible. You should definitely download AccuRig and give it a try. I mean, you saw how easy it was to set up these characters. So it's a great kind of gateway into getting your character models set up and ready to be rigged and animated inside Blender. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.